Now, the pandemic has been quite a roller coaster ride for a theme park, so you can see why there is so much excitement about California being able to fully reopen tomorrow. We sent NBC4's Hetty Chang to find out how amusement parks are reopening after so many ups and downs. Just a few miles from Southern California's theme park giants sits Adventure City. Where the excitement of fully reopening is just as anticipated. What's your favorite part? Everything. And obvious on the faces of park goers who have gone more than a year without. I was really happy and excited because I haven't been in this park in so long. Unlike the bigger theme parks, Adventure City doesn't have a globally known brand to help it recover from the pandemic. But owner Alan Ansdale says his family owned and operated park offers something different. It's really a place for families to come for a brief time out of their, take a you know, little time out of their day, have some family fun without breaking the bank. Rewind Racers is one of Adventure City's most popular rides and kind of like operating a theme park during the pandemic, it's got a lot of ups and downs! Woo! <laughs> Ansdale and his family built this park from the ground up nearly 30 years ago. Tell me about the history of this park and let's start with the train that we're on. The train I operated for my grandmother back in the 70s uh, for a quarter, uh, but then I purchased a train from her uh, when I was 18 and then I approached my parents about adding more rides. Many rides. <laughs> And a petting zoo later, Adventure City opened in 1994, but the pandemic threatened to shut it all down for good. And nobody has that much of a slush fund to go through an entire year. After being shuttered for more than 400 days and still reopened, managing to rehire 80% of his staff, including employees who have been with him since the park first opened its doors. August of 1994 and I came in December of 1994. Even though Ansdell can open at full capacity, he'll ease into it by limiting ticket sales at first, wanting to keep that family fun feel that has kept people coming all these years. Is this going to be open for another 25 years? I hope so. I mean, I enjoy it. From Adventure City. <laughs> Hetty Chang, NBC4 News. <laughs>